How about a wrap that has all the goodness tucked into it? Hey everyone, Namaskar, this is Bumbi and today I will be making chicken and egg wraps. We will first marinate the chicken. Though I am not a fan of chicken breast meat but for these kind of recipes, white meat is the best as they cook faster. I added grated garlic and ginger, then 2 tablespoons of plain unflavored Greek yogurt. Please remember that you need to use plain and unflavored yogurt. The last thing you want is to make a vanilla flavored chicken wrap. And if you are allergic to dairy then you can replace the yogurt with a tablespoon of fresh lime or lemon juice. Then comes the spices, ground coriander for that citrusy kind of flavor. Then ground cumin for that earthy and smoky kind of flavor. Red chili powder. You can even use paprika if you do not want that heat. Little bit of garam masala powder, salt and freshly ground black pepper. Then I started mixing and suddenly realized that I forgot to add oil. So please excuse my dinosaur like limbs blocking the lenses. And if you are wondering why I am not using gloves, it's because I think clean hands are one's best tools in the kitchen. This is food which I will be cooking for my family. So as long as I clean my hands well with soap after handling meat, then there is nothing to worry about. Now let this get marinated for at least 30 minutes. The more it marinates, the better it tastes. But remember to put it in the fridge if you want to marinate it for more than 30 minutes and take it out of the fridge at least 30 minutes before cooking. I need onions cut into slices. Loosen them up as much as possible. I'm going to save some of them in a bowl and the rest will go into the pan. Now to these onions I added some chopped green chilies. You can leave them out but they blend wonderfully well in the wrap. Then add a good amount of lemon juice. The onions when treated with lemon juice in this way will mellow down beautifully and will add up to that freshness. You need this at the end so cover and put in the fridge and let the lemon juice do all the magic. I even need a bell pepper. It can be any color according to your preference. We will now start frying the chicken. Heavy pan on medium high heat. Oil. Once the oil gets well heated up, add the chicken. Spread them out in a single layer and you will see me doing this in many of my chicken recipes. We want each piece of chicken to get that maximum heat from the pan. If you are using a smaller pan then fry the chicken in batches. We want that serious browning on the chicken. You will see a lot of water coming out in the beginning and we want all that moisture to dry up. Most of the water has dried up so let's check on the chicken and look at that gorgeousness. If you want it to be less fried then turn them earlier but I like this serious searing on them. At this point I like to cover the pan for a few minutes. Keep in mind that this is chicken breast and white meat gets done quite quickly. If you overcook them they will taste like shoestrings and who wants that? The chicken has turned tender and when you can cut it with your fork then you will know it's done. Take them out in a bowl. Next the onions dive in, followed by the green beauties. Add a sprinkle of salt and stir on medium high heat for a few minutes. The bell pepper should still have a little bit of crunch on them. The last thing you want is some very sad and pale looking bell peppers that taste horrible. Ok everything is looking perfect. And I have switched off my stove as I do not want to go any further with the cooking. Now add the chicken and do not forget all those juices guys. Again I am doing all this off heat. 
then loads of coriander. I even like using some mint leaves and I usually tear the mint leaves instead of chopping them. I mean you can leave out the mint if you choose to but it adds so much freshness to this dish. Stir and much as I love the beautiful colors of food you have to agree on this point that it looks like a party in that pan with confetti strewn all around. Next coming to the tortillas, while my pan is heating up let's crack an egg. You may use one or two eggs per person. Oil in, medium heat, tortilla enters the scene. Fry for a few seconds and flip. Egg goes in, spread it out and flip again. Fry for a few seconds and you are done. Coming to the final assembly, chicken and vegetables come first, followed by the lemony onions and then I like to drizzle some sour cream. You do not have to add sour cream, ketchup, barbecue sauce or any type of sauce or chutney will go well with this. The choice is all yours but I would love to hear what kind of sauce or chutney you used. The tortilla laced with the egg along with those juicy pieces of chicken bursting with flavor and the crunchy lemony onions adding up to that freshness. Ah, I mean, what more do we want? Please smash that like button if you've enjoyed watching this video and please do send me your feedback after trying this recipe. Bye bye.